I welcome you to this unique platform on YouTube, the Teacher Hub 247. The novel being revealed is part of Lucas, written by Susan Belfield. This is chapter 29, and then on this platform, we will put the plot summary as well as chapters 1 to 28. So, you may request for the link to the previous videos on this novel through the comment section, and it will be sent to you. In the previous chapter, Dr. Jones has decided to give up on Isabel because her head is not improving as expected. But Lucas decided not to give up on her. He even plans to take Isabel out to the world. Maybe her memory can come back. Let's see what happens in this chapter. The month of December draws nearer and Lucas tries his possible best to make sure that Isabel is better. There are improvements, but she, she still can't remember the details about her past, including her marriage. Lucas continues taking her to the places they have visited before. He tells her story about their past love. He tells her story about their past love lives, but Isabel can't recollect the scenarios. Dr. Jones attends to Isabel regularly, and he sees some changes in her behavior. The doctor is happy with the efforts of Lucas on Isabel. On the first day of December, Lucas decides to take Isabel out shopping for Christmas gifts. He sees a picture holder given to Isabel by little Thomas two years ago as a Christmas gift. Lucas inside the children's pictures and him with Isabel in the frame. He goes to the kitchen to show it to his parents. He tells them that he put the pictures there so that Isabel can see them and select gifts for them one by one. That is, to select gifts for the children one by one. His father commends him for his not giving up spirit, even when the doctor wants to give up. Elizabeth serves Lucas Covey, commends him, and asks him how Isabel will know what to buy for each child. Lucas responds that he will have given her the details of each, each child before they go shopping. She will then look at the picture and choose the gift for the children. He says it can help her to get back her memory. Lucas tries to convince his parents further that he is optimistic about the plan. He finishes his coffee and coffee and leaves for the hospital with the picture cube. When he gets to the hospital, he meets Isabel sitting on her bed where dress are pretty. She's reading a book on depression given to her by Dr. Jones in the morning. Isabel stares at Lucas as she sits beside her. She closes the book and asks him what he's holding. Lucas replies that it is a picture kill that has the pictures of their children and the two of them. Lucas gives the picture clip to her and tells her that he wants her to buy a Christmas gift for the children. Isabel responds that she will not know what to buy for the children. Lucas tells her not to worry about that and says he will be by her side during the shopping. He reminded her that she loves seeing the children opening their gifts from Santa. Isabel says she's afraid to go Christmas shopping. Lucas allays her fears that they will be together for the shopping. She comments on the pictures that they look happy in the pictures and that he wishes she remember they are married with children. Isabel says Lucas is a wonderful person and she's happy going out, going out with him, though she doesn't remember anything about him. Isabel enjoys the shopping and she pays it for the children. Lucas buys shopping paper they use to wrap the gifts when they are back in the hospital. He is happy to see Isabel participating in the wrapping, that is, they are wrapping the gifts together. Lucas leaves the hospital to have supper with the children and his parents. He promises Isabel that he will be back in the evening. Isabel continues wrapping the gifts after Lucas leaves. Some seconds later, the memory of her and Lucas at a restaurant flashes in her brain. Ten minutes later, the memory of her wedding day comes to her. Isabel is surprised by the development and she holds her head. Ines walks into her room at that instant to give her medication and ask her whether she needs the doctor. She later explained to the nurse that she is having flashbacks about her and Lucas being together. The nurse says it's a good development that it is her memory coming back. She advises she talk about it with Dr. Jones when he comes in. She has that many patients like that who have flashbacks and regain their memory within weeks. 
Isabel as the nurse if she will be able to remember her children. The nurse tell her not to worry herself as the memory will come back in good time. The nurse leaves the room to distribute the medicine to other patients. Isabel has another flashback when having her supper. She sees herself cooking in the strange house. The picture she sees in the same kitchen with the one in the picture of her and Lucas. She goes her lies on her bed thinking about what is happening. All that Lucas told her is coming into reality, especially about their relationship. She falls asleep while thinking about this. Lucas arrives at the hospital and he meets Dr. Jones as he comes out of the elevator. He informs the doctor about the Christmas shopping with Isabel and how he left her to at the gates. The doctor tells Lucas that he is going to her room for the nightly report. Lucas says they will see if she is still wrapping the gift. Isabel is sleeping when they enter her room. Her supper is barely touched and the gifts are partially wrapped. They are surprised that she sleeps suddenly, so heavy in the evening. Lucas walks closer and shakes her shoulder to wake her. She bumbles. She mumbles and gently opens her eyes. She then apologizes to them for sleeping off. Lucas tells her not to be sorry as she had a great day. Isabel then tells Lucas and the doctor about the flashbacks she, she had when Lucas left to have supper. She concludes that she's really, she's really Lucas' wife. Lucas happily confirms all she just narrated that it happened. Dr. John explained to Isabel that it is a great gift to, to her and the sign of her memory coming back. Isabel, however, says she's not remembering anything about her children. The doctor responds that it is a gradual process and that it takes time before the full recovery takes place. He says further that it is the Christmas shopping that triggers something that brings back part of her memory. He advises, he advises her not to push too hard. It will come gradually. Lucas expresses his appreciation to Dr. Jones and says he is the happiest person in the world. He said he has his wife back and the children will soon have their mother back. Isabel also thanks him as he leaves. Lucas then kisses Isabel passionately for the first time since her sickness. They feel for each other again after more than a year. So that is chapter 29 of Parts of Lucas. Please, if you are just joining this platform, try and click on the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you will be part of this class. And whenever any video is produced, you are going to be notified that a new video has been released. Like this video. You are free to share it on any social media platform. Invite your friends and colleagues to join us. If you have any questions or comments, send it to the comment section and it will be sent to you. And let me tell you that all these videos are linked together from the plot summary through all the chapters. Just make sure you watch one to the end and the next video will pop up. Thank you and God bless. Let's meet in the next class.